My friends, I had a pretty busy day yesterday. I'll tell you all about that and I'll show you a little um, nature surprise here in just a moment. My friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. Today is Thursday, December 1st. Tomorrow, Friday, we will have a shop talk. So be sure to put your comments in this today's video if you'd like for me to cover a specific topic, and I'll see what I can do about that. One of uh, the recent emails came in and asked me to talk about Lloyd Lore uh, and uh, you know his prowess, I guess, in the Gibson Company. And the fact is, I'm not that expert. And so on those kinds of things, if it's something about history that you can just look up on the internet, those are probably not the best topic. It is probably better to confine the topics to something having to do with specific instruments and things like that. You know, I don't consider myself a historian when it comes to people like uh, you know Lloyd Lord. I do know a little bit about them. You know, I've read a lot about them, but the truth is I probably already forgot more than I remember. Well, you can hear the furnace running in the background. Yeah, it's cold here. It's in the t low, low 20s. I'm having to feed the monster three times a day now. So that means I'll be burning a quart of wood every three days. I said I'd show you a little nature uh, piece here, and here it is. <laughs> Do you see what that is? When you see that hole, you better run, because <laughs> there's usually something coming out of it after you. Yeah, it's a big uh, bald-faced hornet's nest. This was the one that was growing in the backyard, uh, not far from the house. And we just didn't know it was there because of all the leaves on the trees. When all the leaves fell off, we saw it laying right there. Um, it was only about, uh, I don't know, 15 feet or so, maybe 20 feet inside the woods from the yard. So it wasn't really bothering anybody because of that, but uh, they're made out of paper. Can you see a close up there of how it looks, the different designs? They're really kind of a beautiful thing, really. And you can see that uh, there's a leaf hanging out of it there. That was grown, in, you know, that's the way they did it. And the leaves, a little leaves and things up here. I've got this string hanging on it because I was hanging it up to dry out real good. Uh, they, they abandoned their larva and everything and uh, so their larva kind of smells bad for a few days until it all dries out and everything. It's all dried out now so it's been hanging in the garage for about three weeks. There's really no smell to it at all now. But I thought I'd just show it to you. So I'll probably find a corner in my man cave to hang this up since it's basically a hunting theme in the man cave as it is and this is outdoors so it's kind of it falls in line I had a customer stop in the shop yesterday I believe his name was Jim Bradley and uh, he was from Springfield Missouri we put a new saddle in his uh, uh, Yari I don't know how to pronounce that guitar and uh, anyway uh, this was a, a tusk saddle and you can see the little holes there that, that'll indicate to you that it's a man-made material. It is just a plastic, basically, is what tusk is. Uh, they like to play on the word tusk, making it sound like it's some exotic material. But it really is just a hard plastic, is really all it amounts to. You can see here that the strings bit into the plastic, and uh, they you know, would uh, make grooves in the plastic. And that was part of the problem was getting the strings to line up straight whenever he'd put the strings on it. it wouldn't, they wouldn't find their natural spot. So we replaced it with a piece of antler. You'll see a video on that. And we ran into a few unique uh, setup issues on that guitar. Uh, the customer had a very refined ear. <laughs> he could tell things, you know, and I couldn't argue with him. I had to agree that he was right. Uh, he had taken it to another shop or two, and they had basically just said, uh, live with it, you know. <laughs> and uh, But when we got finished with it yesterday, we improved it significantly. Um, did we fix it 100%? I won't say that, but I'd say we got in the 90 percentile range on the fix. 
So that was a, a big improvement compared to what it was. I'll just leave it at that for now and you'll see the results of that in an upcoming video. Uh, it'll be a short video, so uh, I'll give that to Emery and have her try to produce that as quick as possible. I've told you about my granddaughter playing basketball before. Well, their team is kinda on the fence this year. We're, they're at 50-50. They've won two and they've lost two. When they win, they look like they're right on top of their game and boy, they're just playing hard and it looks wonderful and then when they lose it's just not so look it just doesn't look the same <laughs> I don't know what it is it's like every other game they kind of get their head in it and, uh, and then they're out of it you know but uh, anyway they're having fun with it and they don't they've lost their seniors I think they've got one or two seniors on the team this year but they're not what you would refer to as superstar basketball players you know uh, like they had in the past. They had a couple of really star senior players which really helped their team. So they're, they're all going to have to step up. My uh, granddaughter is a junior this year and uh, she is really, you can tell, one of the team leaders. There's no question about that. But uh, anyway, they just haven't really hit their stride yet. So I'm hoping they're going to improve as the year goes on. I think it was yesterday I told you I had re-glued this and was going to let it set an extra night. So it has now set overnight twice. So it's two days ago. I'm going to go ahead and take the clamp off this and see if we, you know, worked a miracle here without having to take it apart or whether or not we're going to have to go the full meal deal on this thing. Of course, on camera, you're going to have to unscrew this all the way to get it out. There's no way it's going to come out of there easy. Does it look like it held? Well, this time it kind of does. The uh, test would be the paper test. Right now, that's it's passing the paper test. Before, it didn't even pass the paper test as soon as I took the clamp off. So the only thing we know to do now is to go ahead and string it up and uh, see if it actually worked. And uh, you'll get to see that on the future video whenever that happens. And you'll find out whether or not I had to take the whole bridge off or <laughs> whether or not it worked like it is. I hope it worked like it is. In addition, yesterday I worked on this fiddle. This is that Mills fiddle that we talked about before that was one of those fiddles that went into a violin machine. And uh, I found out that, you know, a lot of the, the back and the top was coming off from the sides in a lot of places. So I glued it up and clamped it up yesterday as well. So I did get quite a bit of work done in the shop yesterday, but I also went out and hauled a giant load of wood on my trailer. It, well, as big as my trailer can haul. It's a five foot wide by nine foot long trailer. And I, trust me, I had it aching. <laughs> <laughs> the trailer was screaming, let me go, let me go. I, I had it completely full. Uh, you, you couldn't have put another stick on it, I don't think. The uh, springs were completely bottomed out. I have actually welded some metal stops on there so that when the springs bottom out, the, uh, the bed stops on the metal, because <laughs> that's how heavy it was. But I got it back here and it dumped it without any problem, so all's good, except that uh, it won't be long, I'll have to go get another big load like that. I've got several loads cut up in the woods, so it's not quite as bad when all you have to do is haul it. That's going to be about it for today. We'll see you tomorrow morning for Shop Talk, 8 o'clock my time. Be sure to put your Shop Talk topics in today's video. Thank you very much. Yeah.